Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I'm doing an unboxing of the March Degusta box. And the box came a couple of days ago. I've been really excited to get into this because there is some good stuff in here. Um, yeah, I've been looking in there and just been thinking, quick, let's film this video because I want to try this stuff. And for those of you who may not know what Degusta box is, it's a monthly subscription box where you get around 10 to 15 food items. It can be snacks, ingredients, drinks, all kinds of different things, um, but they usually have items that are perhaps new to the market. Sometimes it is old favorites. Sometimes it's things that aren't even out yet occasionally. So you do get to try things that perhaps you wouldn't have tried before. The box is always worth more than you have paid for the monthly subscription. So it's great value. And I've found some really great things over the months that have been in the box. And I regularly buy them in my grocery shopping now because I love them. And the box I have here is a PR box, which was kindly sent to me by Degusta Box. So I sometimes have variations where you receive perhaps one of two items but I will have both items to show you but I'll make sure it's clear as we go through um, what you will receive in your box and I do have a discount code below for you to get five pounds off your first month so your first box will be 7.99 like I said it's great value and compared to other subscription boxes I've had I do always find that I get a lot in here you receive notification before your box is delivered so that you can rearrange or ask for it to be left with a neighbor etc and whichever month you sign up is the box you will get so whether you sign up on the 1st or the 30th of the month um, if you are signing up in March you will get the March box so that's how it all works without further ado we've got to get into this because like I said there are some things that I am very excited about first up we have our card which always comes along with it and tells you all of the items in the box each month the box has a theme and this month for March is hello spring and yeah I'm excited definitely let's just start picking things up and then I will talk through what it says about each item as we're looking at them. So first up we have a classic favourite of mine but in a new flavour and that is What's It? And there's actually a couple of new flavours. So these are Flaming Hot or Sizzling Steak. Um, these are normally £1 for this size packet. I think you can also get them in multi-packs and things though. After a number of years away, Walkers have brought back two iconic What's It's flavours to our shelves. Whether you're a cruncher or a melter, these new delicious flavours are sure to be a family favourite. You should receive two items in your box available in the major supermarket chains. So you should receive both of these flavours. I'm actually trying to remember um, if I've had, I'm sure I've had these sizzling steak. The other ones are flaming hot. I will leave these to Ian because um, I'm not so keen on hot um, things. He's been eyeing these up for the last couple of days. So he's definitely going to want to get into those. I absolutely love what's it. They're one of my favourite, favourite crisps and you know we have to try them right now. I'm sure once I taste them, I will remember having these if they're a flavor that have been around before. Instantly, as soon as I tried that, I remember these. I have had them before. They are really good. They're not spicy or anything, but they are quite strong flavored, but in a good way. Sizzling steak, amazing. I will get Ian to try the other ones and let you know in the vlogs what they're like. Always make sure you subscribe and follow along in the vlogs because I do often mention these products from these Degusta boxes um, and give a review and stuff as we're going through our week and using them. So I'm gonna be finishing these after this video. Next up, we have Cadbury Hot Chocolate 30% Less Sugar. And I was actually looking to buy some hot chocolate on my online shop the other day. And when I put them in order of like highest rated, that's how I always decide what to get. And the Cadbury Hot Chocolate came up as the top one. Um, so hopefully this 30% less sugar flavor is really good as well. This is normally £2.49. Cadbury hot chocolate reduced sugar is just as irresistible. With 30% less sugar and only naturally sweetened, our new product offers the same delicious creamy taste with fewer calories, available at Asda, Tesco and Sainsbury's. So again, this is something I will show in the vlogs and I would definitely test this out. I love a hot chocolate, especially if you're having like a cozy night in or the weather's not particularly great, um, so yeah looking forward to that. Next up we have some Knorr stock pots and I use these all the time. These are new flavours. I really like the vegetable one and the mushroom one. I use them in risottos all the time um, but these two flavours are kaffir lime and ginger and paprika and sun-dried tomato. So there's two different ones. They're normally 95 pence. Knorr's new range of veggie flavoured stock pots are an easy way of adding depth of flavour to meat-free dishes. 
available in three different flavors. Simply add directly to your dish or dissolve into 500 ml of boiling water. They're also gluten-free and suitable for vegans. You should receive two items in your box available at Morrison's and Tesco. Like I said, I use these all the time in risottos and I do a tomato risotto, so I'd be really interested to try this paprika and sun-dried tomato in that recipe rather than just using the nor vegetable one, which is what I usually use. But I love these 100%, I'll be trying them out. The lime and ginger, um, I'm not sure what I would try that in or maybe I will get someone else to try it out if that's something um, that they would use. I'm just trying to think what, you know, I'm not very adventurous with cooking. So yeah, definitely though, I will try the sun-dried tomato and paprika one in the vlog in a risotto. In fact, I may even make that tonight. Next, we have an item from the brand Nudie Snacks. And these are broad bean, sour cream and chive. Normally £1.59. At Nudie Snacks, we are all about making snacks more exciting. Our roasted broad beans are packed full of flavour, high in fibre, high in veggie protein to keep those hunger pangs at bay, whether you are working late or working up a sweat. Come visit us at www.newdsnacks.co.uk, hashtag powered by plants. Available at Asda, Holland and Barrett, Whole Food Markets, Amazon and nudiesnacks.co.uk. So roasted broad beans are actually something that I really, really like. I used to work in an office, this is going back a really, really long time, and the local sandwich shop where I used to get my lunch every day used to sell roasted broad beans in a bag that would last me like all week. I would just have a few each day. So I absolutely love them, but I've not had sour cream and chive flavor. I think we're gonna have to try these as well. I really wanna see if these are anything like the ones I used to have. Yep, they're really similar but just a slightly different flavour. And the whole pack, which actually has a decent amount in there, is 130 calories. I absolutely love broad beans, just having them as like a vegetable with my dinner, as well as um, in the dried kind of format. So yes, these are really, really good. Next up is the item I've probably been most excited to get into. When I opened the box and saw these, yeah, I was excited. And that is Smarties Buttons. So these are new and there's two types. There's the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. These are normally £1.59. Introducing new Smarties Buttons, smooth chocolate buttons filled with crunchy mini Smarties. Find these deliciously fun and colorful treats in milk and white chocolate versions. Coloured using food and plant extracts, no artificial flavours, colours or preservatives. You should receive one of two items in your box available in major supermarket chains. So like I was saying about this being a PR box, I have both of them, but when you order this box, you would receive one or the other. And we definitely have to try these out. So I'm going to go with the white ones. I am a huge white chocolate fan. Love white chocolate. Oh, these look really cute. So they're kind of a bit thicker than a regular chocolate button because they have... The little smarties in the middle whether i can get this to focus i do not know there we go you can kind of see it there that is really good unsurprisingly i did not expect anything else i knew they'd be amazing and i really like the kind of crunchiness um just makes it a bit different than a normal chocolate button so more of these will be consumed during tv watching later next up we have quite a big item here and it is this home pride superior sponge flower so this is two pounds Introducing the newest member of the Home Pride flower family. Made from 100% British wheat flour, our superior sponge flour is perfect for creating those extra special bakes, such as a classic Viennese sponge. And this is available at Tesco. So you guys know I've been doing a little bit more baking recently. Whether or not it's been successful is a different story, but I've been trying. I love this style of packaging for flour because it's got like a resealable lid. So you don't have to find a Tupperware to put it in or something and just keep it in here. Um, and it's pre-sieved flour. So I'm gonna be really interested to try this. It doesn't specifically say whether this is considered plain or self-raising flour. The fact that it is for sponge though, I would, assume that you can use this instead of um, self-raising in any recipe but I'll give it a go in the vlogs we will see what happens and we have several drink items in this month's box so let's go through those um, first up we have Seedlip Garden 108 um, it is three pound for six centiliters the world's first distilled non-alcoholic spirit and this is the world's first distilled non-alcoholic spirits solving the dilemma of what to drink when you're not drinking the fresh and floral Seedlip Garden 108 captures the essence of the English countryside with sophisticated top notes of peas and hay and a complex herbal character of spearmint, rosemary and thyme, paired with your favourite tonic. 
So the full size 70 centiliter seed lip garden 108 is available in Tesco, Waitrose, Ocado and Holland and Barrett. So this is really interesting. I've never heard of a non-alcoholic version of spirit. This is definitely something we'll review in the vlogs. I'm really excited to try this. And carrying on with the theme of non-alcoholic drinks, we have this which is highball alcohol-free cocktails, and this is pink G&T. This is normally £1.99, just like the real thing, but without the alcohol. There are six delicious highball cocktails, G&T, pink G&T, which is this one, cosmopolitan, mojito, Italian spritz, and ginger dram. With less than half the calories of a standard cocktail and made with natural ingredients, they are the perfect alternative. You should receive one item in the box, and this is available on highballcocktails.com. So this is pink g and raspberry, juniper, and botanicals. So this is really interesting. There's a lot more of this kind of thing on the market now, which I think is great. If you are going to an event, you're driving, it's always been kind of a bit of a bummer where you're sat there just drinking Diet Coke or something. And now there are kind of options that make you feel like you can join in, but they are non-alcoholic. So this will be really interesting to try. It says to pour over ice. Um, in highball glass. So I'll try this later on. I won't try it now because it's not chilled or anything. Um, and this is 73 calories per bottle, which is actually really good. So I'm really looking forward to that. I don't drink an awful lot, to be honest. I do have a glass of wine every now and again, but I'm not a big drinker. So alternatives like this are really interesting to me. And next up, we have another drink. This is Merchant's Heart Tonic Water. And there's two flavors, I think, pink peppercorn or floral aromatics. And I have floral aromatics here. This is normally £1.30, a range of premium spirit enhancers available in six distinctive flavours, ranging from a dry hibiscus, suitable for premium gins, to a ginger ale, an ideal pairing for aged whiskey. Co-created with world-leading bartenders designed to allow the flavours of the spirit to shine through the palette. You should receive one of two items in the box available at Sainsbury's and Ocado. So I'm just wondering whether we could pair this with the non-alcoholic spirit that we received. Sorry, my battery just went there, so sorry if the lighting's gone slightly different. Um, I was just thinking maybe we could pair this with the non-alcoholic um, spirit that we got, but I think this is specifically um, to go with alcohol mixed with premium spirits. So yeah, we do have some gin in the cupboard. I guess we will try this with actual alcohol um, because it does sound as if that's what you are supposed to pair it with. Um, but yeah, again, in the vlogs, we will try this out. We're gonna be doing a lot of drinking by the look of thing. Next up, we have a product from Naked Noodle and this is Singapore Curry, normally £1.20. Take your taste buds on a taste of adventure with our egg noodles in a Singapore curry sauce. Aromatic curry spices are lifted by the distinctive flavors of Chinese five spice, while garlic and ginger add real depth. No artificial colors or preservatives, and this is available in all major supermarket chains. So I have to say, curry is not something that I like, so I will definitely get someone else to try this out. Maybe Ian or one of my friends when they come round at some point, and I will get them to let me know what it's like. But this is egg noodles in a Chinese curry sauce. So things like this are perfect for taking on the go to have for lunch at work. Um, if you know you're not really gonna have access to anything other than a kettle, um, I think this is just gonna be um, hot water that you put on. It seems like that kind of thing. Um, remove the lid and pour boiling water. Yeah, so perfect thing. It just takes four minutes for it to actually be done. So yeah, if you need something in a rush, this is perfect. Um, it's also very low in fat as well, vegetarian. So yeah, I will let you know whoever tries this, what they think of it. Next up, we have another drink, and this is Galaxy Oat Drink. This is normally £1.50. Galaxy Oat is smooth, luscious, and bursting with a rich chocolatey taste. Galaxy Oat has no added sugar and is registered with the Vegan Society. Available now at Asda, Morrison, Sainsbury's, and a wide range of convenience stores. So this is definitely something I'm gonna want to put into the fridge, because whenever I drink any kind of chocolatey drink, it's gotta be cold for me. Um, and this is chocolate and malt flavor, coconut and oat drink with sweeteners. So that actually sounds really good. It sounds like something I would like. And it's great that there are so many alternatives to things like this that are vegan now, because if you do want like a chocolatey drink and you just want to sort of pick something up from a shop, often they will be dairy. So yeah, I'm excited to see what that's gonna be like. And the final item that I have in this month's box, I will be honest with you, um, I was a bit scared of this item. This is something that the brand openly admits you kind of love or hate. It's Marmite, but it is Marmite crunchy peanut butter. So this is normally £2.50, a new take on peanut butter blended with tasty yeast extract, the perfect solution to mix up your breakfast. 
whether you love or hate Marmite, again, their words, um, you definitely need to give this a try. Rich in B vitamins, no added sugar, and no palm oil contains naturally occurring sugars available in the major supermarket chains. So they're saying whether you love or hate Marmite, you may still like this. So I'm not going to close this off. I will try it. Um, obviously, I'm going to want some toast or something to try it on. I'm not a fan of Marmite on its own, but who knows? I love peanut butter, so this could be really nice. And I also have a mystery item in this month's box because it's not on the card. This is Jubel beer cut with elderflower. So it's 4% alcohol and it's just like a urban beer. So I can't tell you anything about it because it's not on the card, but Ian definitely will try this. And again, we'll let you know what we think in the vlogs. So that is it for this month's box. Let me know in the comments which items you like the look of the most in this box. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to get yourself five pound off your first box. I can highly recommend it and I'm just excited to finish some of these items. So as always, don't forget to subscribe. I will link all my social media below. I often post about these things on there as well. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.